In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today, as we have come to worship the Lord, let us remember that Jesus has, in his love, gathered us all together here. And uh, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, the best preparation is offering the Lord our repentance. Tell the Lord that we are repentant on our sins. Let us take a moment to look within ourselves and acknowledge all our mistakes, all our imperfections and sins to the Lord, asking for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set forth on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Give thanks to the Lord, and owe his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord be merciful to heaven forever. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Trust in the care of the Lord. 
things will happen in our favor. God does not want us to go down. He wants us to be happy, smiling people. And today in the gospel, Jesus says, bear fruits, good fruits. And when you look at uh, uh, the gospel in the light of the first reading, it's, uh, I feel like not Jesus telling me, Jason, bear fruits, good fruits. And you are able to bear good fruits in your life if you totally and fully base yourself on your faith in God. Your actions, they should spring from your faith in God and reflect your faith. Whatever you say, the way you look at people, the way you treat them, all these should be reflections of your faith in me. Then Jason will become a person who produces good fruits. Everyone who comes to me will hear the word of God. Everyone who uh, has any experience of me will later tell of, tell of Father Jason, hey, but I had some little experience of Jason, but that was a divine experience. But this is what is going to happen. So today, as we reflect upon these uh, two readings and celebrate the Holy Mass, let us ask the Lord for the grace that we may formally found ourselves, our life, every day, deeds and words and attitudes on our strongest faith in God. Amen. 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 Let's all stand up now. For our universal church, we pray. Lord, we pray our prayers. For peace and harmony among all nations, we pray. Lord, we pray our prayers. For the unity of all who believe in Christ, we pray. Lord, we pray our prayers. Salvation of all, especially those on our prayer list, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the eternal repose of all who have died, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the silent intentions we hold close, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers be your children may, and grant them all through Jesus Christ our Lord. Always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we all together acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of it, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of the mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of her charity, together with Francis our Pope, and David too, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, we remember and pray for Edelberto the Rota. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as house, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At 
the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your fathers, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live our reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <laughs> Let us all offer one another a sign of peace.
the body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has come to an end. Let's go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. How is that day? Amen.